top five most common welding hazards. Hey guys, uh, James Lee here with Western Welding Academy. I've been an instructor here for uh, pushing seven months now. So as we all know, welding isn't the safest trade in the world. And uh, today we like to talk about five of the more common hazards that you may encounter in this trade. Let's get into it. At number five, I think the most common I see is cuts, hand injuries. The most common hand injury I see here at the school tends to deal with the bevels. So we've got very sharp bevels on our coupons here, and it's it's very common. I've had that happen a handful of times since I've been here. A student will uh, impact a bevel, and it, it lays them wide open. Also, grinder. Grinder hand injuries are pretty common as well. Simple fix for hand injuries, put those gloves on. Keep them on. I know it gets hot. It gets sweaty. doesn't matter. Keep those gloves on. Go home with all your digits at the end of the day. All right. At number four on the list, I put noise. It's more long-term but it's definitely out there. And when you get to be my age, you're gonna notice it. Take care of your ears, ear protection. It's a simple fix. Put some foamies in your ears and uh, go on about your day. All right, number three on the list today, I've got fumes. Also another long-term uh, issue, but it's definitely a major issue. Something to take into consideration for you young folks out there. Ways to kind of counteract that. Early in my career, I had to wear a PAPR hood. It's a hood that actually forces clean air into your hood. So you're always breathing clean air. It's heavy, it's bulky, and it's very expensive and not super practical. A respirator is another option. Some of us are going to get rid of our beard to do that. And honestly, what I do today is I just try to keep my head out of the plume of smoke. And that's uh, that's what I do to prevent myself from having the fumes. Regardless, in this trade, you're going to get some fumes are there, and you're going to get them. we go right into number two, burns. One of the most common things I see floating around our shop is burns. Uh, typically... As you're welding, you're just going to get burns. It's going to, you're going to get burned as a welder. It's going to happen. You do the best you can to mitigate it. Furthermore, to help with burns, um, Western Welding, they make FR clothing. Any any FR rated clothing, uh, I've worn Knox and uh, Martin Brothers and any clothing rated as FR, that's going to help you out in the burn department. And welding caps can also help in that area. Depending on what I'm doing, I'll turn it sideways, cover my ear up. That's a big thing, getting sparks and you know burns down in your ear. That, that really isn't a lot of fun. Welding hat can help you in that area as well. Back to the what we we're on on number five, gloves. Put your gloves on. I see a lot of times a person will walk up and just grab a hold of something that's hot. Keep those gloves on. I know they can't be comfortable all the time, but they're going to help you. Gloves are in case you touch something hot, not so you can touch something hot. I'll tell my age here a little bit. Back in the 90s when I got into my first welding class, my old welding instructor, Mr. Sensing, he used to call it the welder's pat. It's just something you learn after you burn the crap out of your hands a handful of time. You walk up and you give her a little tap and see if it's hot before you snatch a hold of it. So just don't grab hot things. Yeah, your gloves aren't made so you can handle hot material. They're made in case you handle hot material. If you repeatedly, no matter how big those gloves are, how heavy they are, if you're picking up hot material and your gloves are smoking, you're destroying your gloves. Don't do that. Especially if you're young in the trade and you're having trouble making it as it is. You can't be buying a pair of gloves every week. So take care of your gloves. They're in case, in case you encounter something hot. Not so you can grab that hot coupon and walk across the shop with it with your hands smoking. So, and our number one spot today is going to be eye protection. I've seen things bounce behind safety glasses and land in your eye. Uh, it's to you take care of your eyes, okay? Keep those safety glasses on your face. They get foggy. They get scratched up. It's hard to see. It doesn't matter. Keep those safety glasses on your face. Uh, you only got two eyes. Don't ruin them, okay? If you get carbon material in your eye, I've seen situations where um, the eye doctor actually has to drill that and get it out. The carbon will rust in your eyeball. So, uh, be careful. Take care of that. Now, eye protection doesn't stop with those clear safety glasses. Your welding hood also. Keep that thing on. Keep it in front of your face. If there's welding going on around you, protect those eyes. Shield yourselves. Goes right into arc flash. What is arc flash? Uh, basically, the light of the arc of welding is extremely bright. And if you're not shielded from that with your welding lens or something between you and it, it'll actually burn your eyes. It'll burn your retina. Sometimes you can even smell it. I've smelled it before. I get a quick burst of, of flash and you can kind of smell it in your sinuses where it burns a little bit it's uh it's very devastating to your eyes and be be very careful on that area if you're entering this trade really pay attention to that it's just an ever-present thing that's there so you just do your best to shield your eyes close your eyes if you have to if you're in an environment and someone fires up art flash can be bouncing off the walls of a booth or walls off of a shop or building and still burn you. If you're getting that art flash and you notice it, shut your eyes down, move your eyes, put your head down, get turned around and get away from it because that is not fun. If you're going home at the end of the day and it feels like you have sand in your eyes, that's not okay. That's not normal. We need to figure out what's going on because you will do great damage to your eyes if you're not very, very careful in that area right there. So be very careful with that art flash out there. So if you're entering into this trade, um, Really do your research on hoods. Do some reading on it. I've used a passive lens for years. It's never failed me yet. I haven't been flashed with it one time. I see a lot of young people come into this trade and they grab a fancy hood, you know, for 40 bucks from Tractor Supply and it's going to fail you. It's going to lay you down. Take care of your eyes. Big deal.
to summarize this, I uh, hope you guys got something out of this today. Keep your PPE on. It's as simple as that. Keep the long sleeves on. Wear the FRs when they're necessary. Keep the gloves on. Keep the eye protection on, okay? Pay attention to your surroundings. There's hazards everywhere, okay? Keep your head on a swivel. Keep watching, and you're going to be okay. Be safe out there, guys. Thanks for watching today. If you're interested, go to applytoweld.com. We'll teach you how to be safe in the field and teach you how to go out there and crush it. Until next time, we'll see you.